Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, men, women, and children of all ages. How is it going, guys? I decided to make another episode of my middle school stories videos because Correct. it's just there's so many middle school stories I have, and I'm gonna have some dual comms coming, maybe even a triple or quad com discussing some more middle school stories in the next few coming days, possibly. But for right now, it's just me reminiscing some middle school stories. So this one stands out to me. It was the first time I was ever knocked unconscious. And it wasn't like a fight or anything. I wasn't out for very long. It was maybe like five seconds. So me and Alex and Kenny were in eighth grade. And it was raining outside. And it was the end of the day. So the end of the day, it was raining outside. They made us wait in the classrooms. And they called names and stuff. And that's who got to go out to their cars. So we were waiting there, and we was we was just doing shit and stuff. So me and Alex were pushing each other around, and Alex pushes me a little bit too hard, and I fall backwards, and I fall backwards and hit my head straight on the metal leg of a table. Like, not the rubber part, no, the metal part of the leg. And that's, then I remember, like, five seconds later, Kenny, like, snapping his fingers in front of my face and going, Hello? Hello? Yeah, I was out for a solid, like, five seconds or so it wasn't long but that was my first experience being knocked unconscious it was a pretty funny story looking back at it that i got pushed and that was the first time i was ever unconscious so that was a pretty fun story i think oh my god oh my god i just thought of this so our homeroom in seventh grade our homeroom we had this one teacher and she was she was kind of a lazier teacher she didn't really walk around the room much she kind of just stayed at her desk most of the time. So, like, what we would do was we were into, like, making slingshots. So, like, we took the caps off of our pens and, like, took rubber bands, put the rubber band around, like, the cover of a book, took the pen caps, pulled it back so that, like, the pen cap part was under the rubber band, and we'd shoot them that way. And we had, like, the erasable pens. If you don't know, the erasable pens, they have really good caps for doing this because, like, it's between the cap and like the, uh, the little clip thing it's pretty tight there so we we're like shooting them and I missed so like we would hold up like a piece of paper with a book behind it so that like you could see if it ripped through and stuff and like that was what you were aiming for and we sometimes made targets and I missed and I hit Kenny's hand and the pen cap shatters and he's just got like an inch long cut on his thumb and it starts bleeding and it wasn't too bad but it I was surprised at, like, the amount of blood that he bled from just a pen cap hitting his finger. Holy crap, that was, that was a bit concerning for me. I'm like, maybe we shouldn't do this. But at the same time, we wound up doing it for most of the year anyways. And then, another story that strikes me with this is that we'd sometimes take the, like, little clips off of the pens. You'd break them off on accident. So I had it, and I had a rubber band in my hands. It was, like, between my thumb and my first finger. And I, like, pulled it back, kind of like a mini, like, oh, uh, what do they call it? A mini, uh, slingshot. And so I pulled the, like, cap back. It was, like, horizontal, and my hands were vertical. So I, like, pulled it back with like, a little slingshot, and I shot it. And, like, I sat right at the door, and the teacher's desk was on the other side of the room. Like, the complete other side of the room. Like, a solid 30, maybe 40 feet away. And I shot it, and it went right past the teacher's face. And I was, like... Holy shit, I almost just killed the homeroom teacher. Oh my god. And it was, it hit hard. Like, it hit, and her face just, like, went straight to it. Like, looked straight to the spot. I put my hands down immediately, and she was, like, looking across the room, like, at everyone. And she was so confused as to what just happened. And I'm pretty sure that there was a little mark or indent in the wall after that. So that was, that was, it was a pretty scary experience for me. I thought I almost killed her, and I did almost kill her. Killer. It was like an inch or two away from hitting her right in the face. Oh my god. It was awful. Awful. I don't think I've ever been closer to killing a teacher on accident. So, other things, other things, other things. Um, one girl was like, hey, someone stole my lunch bag one day. Because, like, she couldn't find her lunch. And, like, Everyone was like, well, did you check your locker and everything? And so, apparently, she said it wasn't in her locker. Teachers checked with her. They checked the locker. They're like, it's not in the locker. So, you know what they made us do? They were like, there's a thief in here. One of you stole the lunchbox, and we're going to find it. 
everyone had to open their locker. Everyone had to like open their bags. They searched everyone's locker and everyone's bags, and they didn't find it. It was lost. So you know where they wound up finding it ten minutes later? In her locker. That just goes to show you that like the whole let's make everyone show us their stuff doesn't work. If people are stu too stupid to not see things in the lockers. I mean, come on, guys. We had so many times where they would search and look for things and no one would have them. Or they'd, like, make us do a witch hunt where it's like, who did this or who did that? And I'll probably make another episode with a few of those examples of the witch hunt type things that they made us do. It was awful. Private school is awful, kids. But it was very fun. I made a lot of good friends in it. A lot of close friends. So I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I love reminiscing about good times. So I want to thank you guys for watching this episode, and I will see you guys later.